Today's lecturer, the Reverend Troy Perry of California, founder of a homosexual church group. And I took out an ad in the Advocate, which is a homosexual newspaper, and I announced 10 Metropolitan Community Church and gave my home address. And my next door neighbor, I walked over and I told her what had happened. And she said, that's just wonderful, but you're going to be raided the first Sunday. And I said, oh, come on now. I said, if they come down to see an orgy on the altar, they're going to be disappointed. I hope the police do come. I would welcome them into our services. She said, well, I don't know. She said, I'll be, I know the police around here. And she said, it's going to be raided. And I said, well, we'll just have to wait and see. I talked to my roommate and I said, guess what? We're going to start holding church services here. He said, you can't do that to me. He said, my tricks aren't out of bed before one or two o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, well, it's going to happen. You've got to get them up and get them out of here. We're having church. Well, as it so happened that first Sunday, October the 6th, 1968, we ended up with 12 people in my home. But you know something? In two years and four months, we've grown from 12 people to this last Sunday, we had 1,012 in attendance. But things are happening. Resolutions have been accepted by the Presbyterian Church, the United Presbyterian Church, the Lutheran Church in America, the Unitarian Universalists have at last come and said, stand with us. If you're homosexual, you can even pastor our churches. Metropolitan Community Church is not afraid to stand for the rights of homosexuals. We will stand because we are gay and we're proud and we're not afraid anymore. Thank you. Thank you.